All right, I think things are fairly straightforward this time. You're just trying to play faster. Um, so first one here, 160. Uh, the only thing to really point out again, just as a reminder. So you're starting off, you get your 5, 7, 8, 5, 7, 8, 10. So the A and the G string, they will have four notes being played on them. And those strings, you will need to shift your hand over to hit the last note on those strings with your pinky. I wonder if there's a way I could have worded that better. Hopefully that makes sense. So basically you got first, third, fourth, first, third, fourth, fourth, first, third, fourth, first, third, fourth, fourth, and I end it with the second finger because it's right over that fret. There we go. 60, me uh, 60 beats per minute. Double time. Let's do one eighty. Triplets and I tapped it at 59. I didn't quite get 60 this time. I got it earlier, somebody else, or a different video. Uh, all right, so got to be very careful with your picking. Uh, some people refer to this as outside picking. See, what I mean by that is so after you get your down, up, down, up, down. So basically you're picking on the outside of these strings. The inside would be like, your pick would be in between these strings. But you're going to be on the outside. So, you already know to be careful, but I'm just saying it anyway. Just to be safe, be careful with what the pick does here. Alright, here we go. Uh, 60 beats a minute. Double time. And double that. This is not an easy one to get going blazingly fast. So be very, again, careful with it. It's going to be tough, especially making sure that you don't fall back on the accidental economy picking tendencies. Okay. So I'll do this one with the 16th notes. Again, if you can't, just cut it back down to 8th notes if you can't reach the 120. Whoops. All right, here we go. Exercise number three. And there's going to be the same thing could happen. The accidental economy pick in here, so just be careful. Double time. Let's do one sixty. Eighty, two hundred. It's getting 
difficult. I'll call it there. Uh, Alright, and then number four. Working the hammers and pulls. Okay. So just remember what you pull off to, you went down in advance. So when you're doing this, when you go to switch strings, try and get both fingers down at the same time, best you can. There we go, 60 beats. Really make sure you spread your hand on that. Get those fingers spread out. Don't have your, let your pinky collapse like that. Get that thumb in the middle of your hand and spread that hand out. I got my elbow kind of tucked back here. I'm trying to make sure my wrist isn't doing this. I'm trying to keep it pretty flat because I have excess strain on the back of my wrist from playing like this a lot. So now I'm trying to keep it straight. So, yeah. I don't know how to finish that thought, so I'm just going to move on to 120. I played that wrong. Take two. And goal speed of the 240. So that should beef up the pinky quite a bit. Um, Something else you could get, uh, this is called, shit, what the hell is it called? Very Grip, there you go. I probably should just send you a link to it. Very Grip, Actually, I did a review on that, I'll send you that so you can read about it. But basically it's like a, a grip strengthener for guitar players. It's kind of used each finger individually. It's pretty neat, uh, definitely help get that part of your hand strengthened so you can whittly and wah all over the place whittly wah all right um i think that covers everything so again got questions let me know good luck i'll see you friday